We are on day nine of the hunger strike. We're still strong. A day feels like a week here. We have things going to be social pass. 24-year-old Salah is on hunger strike with other asylum seekers at his hotel in Reading. Here where I spent my last three months. For others there, it's been over eight months. They're protesting at what they describe as lengthy asylum claims and poor food. Many people have lost weight. Some, some of them ha had kidney problems. We are reading now. Uh, so I went more than 10 times to Royal Berkshire Hospital uh, with uh, many people. Uh, all have very bad conditions and uh, have uh, medical problems. And because of the food? Because, because of the food. These photos were taken by asylum seekers in the south who say the meals they're given at hotels is often unidentifiable, non-nutritious sludge. Lots of vitamin C Thank for you them. So much. You're very welcome. In West London, a charity says it's trying to plug the gap. This woman didn't want to be identified. She has a daughter. It's been miserable. She hasn't eaten healthy food for over five months. No vegetables, no fresh milk, no cheese, no egg, no fish. Imagine a kid who's growing and needs all this protein and calcium. She doesn't get any of this. For the first time in my whole life, I've had suicidal thoughts. There are so many suicidal people in the same place. The charity helping her says the Home Office is thought to give £6 a day per person to some companies providing food, but that is subcontracted sometimes more than once. The accusation is that corners are being cut. We're talking about the most vulnerable people in our society. They've um, escaped all kinds of horrific traumas I wouldn't even want to tell you about. And then get here and, and have some hope that finally, in getting to a safe country, that the asylum that we're said to be offering is um, genuine and that we are going to take care of people. But actually what we've got is a hostile environment. The Home Office refused to comment, but one of the companies involved did, saying Clear Springs ensures that where required, three meals a day are provided. The food service provided by our suppliers is reviewed on a regular basis to ensure what is provided meets the required standards and that feedback from our asylum seekers is taken into account as part of that review. Salah, however, says they're not being listened to and vows to continue the hunger strike, fighting, he says, for the forgotten. Adele Robinson, Sky News.